hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is kennedy and i'm just here to talk honestly i love yapping so that's exactly what this video is going to be today's topic is all about navigating being chronically single in your 20s and I feel like I can talk about this because I've been single for going on four years now and I feel like every person I see online has either found their person and they're in like their forever relationship and they'll probably never be single again or they've only been single for like six months to a year and I don't know for me personally that doesn't seem like that long but to each their own you know no judgment but this is coming from a girly that is indeed chronically single, okay? So, so I'm just going to give you guys my tips and tricks for navigating life as a single girly and how to really make the most out of these years because while, you know, sometimes I think men suck and I'll never find my person and all this negativity, I do think one day I will and I'll be able to look back on these times in my life with so much gratitude and I just want to make the most of this time, honestly. So that's what this is about for me. Let's go ahead and get into my tips and tricks. I did write an outline for this video, so I don't miss any points to tell you guys. The first one that I really want to touch on is if you're coming out of a long-term relationship, take your time to grieve that relationship. This isn't a breakup advice video or like how to get through a breakup. I can absolutely do that video if you guys would want that, but this is more just, you know, I'm just telling you, take your time, grieve that relationship, allow space for your feelings and do the self-work. Don't distract yourself. Don't do self-destructive things. Feel those feelings and realize the faster that you feel them the quicker that they're going to pass. And the more that you allow space for them, the quicker that you can get over them. And I think that is just so important. And I just want to note that just in case you are coming out of a relationship right now, there is like a whole period of time that you need to just lock in on you. Now it's time to enter your single girl era. Okay. Now, I don't mean hot girl summer era. I don't mean, you know, hooking up with everybody. Of course, if that's what you want to do, do you, girl. I'm not judging. But I think for me personally, the biggest difference that I saw in myself was when I decentered men for a long period of time. I would say I only started somewhat dating in like the past year. And again, I said I've almost been single for four years. So there was just a long period of time where I just basically acted like men didn't exist. You know, like I would obviously see cute guys, but I just did not have the capacity to actually talk to anybody and like be healthy and emotionally available. Obviously, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're somebody that is <clears throat> able to kind of date for fun and, you know, just hang out with people and not get attached, that's one thing. But for me, I'm such an emotional person and I'm so serious when it comes to dating and potential that I see with somebody and, and that like I'm unable to be unserious if that makes sense. So I don't know if anybody else is like that, but yeah, I just take it so seriously. This period of decentering men, what it really gave me is clarity on, you know, who I am as a person, what my purpose is. I would have never started social media. I would have never started my fitness journey if it weren't for my last breakup and spending time to really look inward at what I wanted and what I wanted my life to be, what I felt my ideal self was like. So that time is so important on this journey. The next thing I'm going to really recommend for my chronically single girlies out there is fill your time. Obviously, relationships take up so much of our time and you are putting so much energy into this other person. But I kind of want you to treat yourself the same way. So transfer any of that energy that you're giving to other people onto yourself. And also take this time to become a better friend, find new hobbies, build your skill set, and don't be afraid to try new things, even if they don't stick at first. Like sometimes 
I've tried things and I'm like, I look so stupid doing this right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just about the experience. It's about building your confidence in situations like that where you don't know what you're doing and you might look silly and you may never try that thing again. Like you may have hated it. But it's just about putting yourself out there. And you also never know. You could meet your best friend in that class. Like you never know what what could come of things. So just don't be afraid to put yourself out there and try. The next thing I'm going to highly, highly recommend is building a solid routine. You need to have your daily routine down, your daily wellness practices down, and you need to just have yourself down pat basically because when somebody comes into your life I feel like it can really shake this routine up but if you have a reference point and you know like this is when I felt the best this is when I was really on my stuff I need to get back to this even if you get into a relationship and like that's kind of shaken up for a second you can like you can take a second to reflect and be like okay this is what I need to do and maybe even communicate with the with your partner about this and just be like hey I haven't been on my stuff because I've been so excited about us and like spending time with you, but I really need to start prioritizing me again because this is when I feel the best. And if they're a good partner, they're going to understand that and even encourage you to be back in your routine. So that's just if you get a partner. But anyways, you should have a solid wellness routine, a solid foundation. Those things are so important for building that self-confidence over time because you're showing up for yourself consistently and I always talk about that on my page that's really where confidence stems from is just showing up for yourself consistently over a long period of time so just find what that is find what type of movement you like to do find what type of food makes you feel the best find what hobbies you like and just go from there okay this one is probably somewhat hard for some people But I want you to challenge yourself to do more things alone, go on solo dates, go to the movies alone. I love doing that one. That one is really fun. And it doesn't feel as weird as you think it would. Like you think people would be looking at you strange for being there alone, but they really don't even care. Not only will this build your relationship with yourself and you'll be like, wow, I love spending time with me. I'm such a fun person to be around. And then when you're around other people, you're even like you have even more self-esteem within yourself because of that. But if you're if you see how it is to do things alone, when somebody is with you, you appreciate their presence even more because you're like, okay, yeah, like I love hanging out with myself, but now that this other person is here, I can see what they add to the experience. So, I don't know, I feel like it's just like a win-win either way and you just appreciate yourself more, you appreciate companionship more. And I, I just love it. I love hanging out with myself. If you think about it, you know, we are the only person that we have for life. And it's so important to just nurture that relationship with you. So I would challenge you to do more things alone. You don't have to do anything crazy, like take yourself out to dinner right away. Just start small. Maybe go walk around the mall by yourself. Go to a movie by yourself. Go to a workout class by yourself you know I was so codependent in my last relationship and that was one thing I promised myself like I will never depend on anybody to do something with me if I want to do it I'm gonna go do it also you guys sorry about my um I have my chair back there with all my clothes on it you know that one chair that everybody has with just like junk on it I folded my clothes and put them on my chair so sorry if that's been an eyesore this whole video but We all have one. Don't act like you don't. Um, But anyway, yeah, do do those things alone. It's so it's so good for you. So let's talk about if uh, slash when you start dating. I for me, it's important to have a proper vetting process in place for future partners and also know what my standards are and that helps me recognize when somebody doesn't meet those standards or if they're falling short in some way. And I'm not going to lie, I get really excited really quick. And sometimes that's makes it easy for me to overlook red flags or, you know, low effort or something like that. But the best thing you can do, regardless of that, I mean, we're not perfect at the end of the day, but have a vetting process in place, you know, just have certain boundaries set up so that you're not getting hurt and, you know, getting thrown back 
in your process. But also, if you've been doing all this self-work, I think going back into dating, you're going back into it with a brand new lens and you're almost like you're stronger for it. So don't worry about that too much, but just know what you want in a partner and what you don't want. Most importantly, I talked about this a little bit in the beginning as well, but have fun and realize that this is simply a time in your life. For most people, they're not going to be single forever, even though it may feel like it. Um, But one day you won't have all those freedoms and simplicities that you do right now. And so I think it's important to just take a second and be like, this is my life right now. One day I'm going to look back and be like, oh my gosh, when I was a single girl living alone in my 20s and I could just wake up and have my coffee and have a quiet morning and walk my dog if you have a pet or like pet my cat, whatever it is, like the simple things that we take for granted every day, they won't always be there. Like your house, when you have kids or if you want to have kids or if you have a husband, if you want to get married or if you just have a long-term partner, like whatever it is, you may have to, you know, tend to other people and you may not be able to ever be this selfish again. So I think it's just important to have gratitude for this time and having this time to really get to know yourself. I mean, there's so many people out there that have been in relationships with the same person for since high school or something, and they never had the experience of living alone in their 20s and getting to know themselves and, you know, building hobbies and building their identity outside of a partner. And I think it's just inevitable. You somewhat get meshed in with your partner you to become one and it's it's sucky that not everybody gets the experience of building themselves up before they find that person and I think the fact that some of us are given the opportunity like to build ourselves and get to know ourselves before that person comes along is also a blessing so I know it sucks sometimes being on social media and I and I especially struggle during the holidays because I'm like dang like everybody is a partner everybody has like these perfect families and stuff but that's just social media like that's not real life you don't know what's going on in those people's relationship in their family dynamic like you don't know um obviously I try to not assume the worst (laughs) about people but You just don't know. Um, And I think it's just important to remember that and recognize that. So those are my tips for navigating being chronically single and um, just know you're worthy of everything that you want. You're worthy of the love that you want, the life that you want. You're worthy of becoming who you want to become. And there's just so much good ahead. And I hope you realize that. Um, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.